Hello and welcome to Lords Brewing Co. Channel of Love. And today, something a bit different for you. Uh, we've got an unboxing video from none other than Glen Affric. Now, I was on uh, Simon's uh, live feed of the Real Ale Craft Beer on Tuesday night for a bit. And um, they've got their new beer coming out. And I thought, you know what? I was meant to go over and see Craig from Glen Africa a while ago. Well, I was kind of shoehorning him into me going over. Uh, but I didn't in the end because, to be honest, it was just he was really busy. I was really busy. Uh, and I, I just didn't get around to it. So um, I thought, oh, you know what? I'll support other breweries other than myself. I'll buy some beer. So um, I bought some beer. Now, I bought four cans of, of the beer and this box is pretty heavy and I'm pretty sure uh, that there wasn't uh, four in here so I had a quick look before this is not a total surprise but I haven't taken the beers out so I don't know what beers I've got uh, but yeah we'll open it up let's have a little butchers um, hey look at this so I got a message from Craig it says uh, yo throwing in some extra cans for you best which is Craig. How nice is that? What a legend. That's a nice thing to do, isn't it? I wish, I wish everybody was nice like that. That's nice, isn't it? Right, where do we start? Look at that little bit of beautifulness. Right, we've got... Oh, wow. That's cool. Um, Tartan Typhoon Passion Fruit and Mango Sour. 4.6%. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice looking can, isn't it? Very nice. I like the artwork. It's a beautiful photo. Uh, World Beer Awards winner. It's got European Beer Challenge Gold. Voted Silver. Um, this tropical bar bomb of a kettle sour screams bright, sharp, passion fruit, sweet, exotic. Uh, Alfonso Mango. Get ready to enjoy a juicy riot of tropical fruit flavour with a delicious sour kick. Uh, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So I'm going to plonk that there. Um... Oh, here we go. Uh, for his haze, uh, Nipa, 6.5%. That put hairs on your chest, wouldn't it? Uh, let's hold that bad boy out there. Wow, ah, it's looking cool, isn't it? Um, do you know what? It's going to take me forever if I read out everyone. Uh, do you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to read everyone because there's quite a lot in it. So uh, we could this be the world's longest video. Um, what's this one? Rutting stag. American Red Ale, 5%. Got the old American Red Ale, that's pretty cool. Red Ale, see, Red Ale, I like Red Ale. Um, but we, when we sell it in cask, just no one wants a Red Ale. It, I really struggle to sell it. I don't really know why. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just, I don't know. Um, I'm not saying that, just so you know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that Red Ale. I'm just saying I find it really hard to sell. Uh, maybe uh, Glen Africa knows that I don't. Lock and Load Pilsner, that's a cool name. Lock and Load, 4.8%. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, that looks good. I'm looking forward to trying that. I love my Pilsners. Uh, we've taken the classic Pilsner style and turned it on its head with heaps of New World hops from New Zealand. Ooh, nice, very nice. Uh, I'm going to have to move my cans at this rate. They're empty now. Don't last long in this uh, office. There you go. Uh, right, okay, what else have we got? So, ah, now this is the um, the one with real ale craft beer. Now, what's really, 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 really cool is that real ale craft logo. I made that for Simon. How cool is that? And to see it on a can, that's really, really cool. And it says, brighter days ahead, juicy pale ale. That is really sick. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. And I love, I love the fact that it's something positive. You know what I mean? It's not something, you know, I don't know, miserable. Or, so those ones there, are, those four are the ones, yeah, they're all the same. So yeah, here we go, what's this one? Oh, ho, ho. now, I, do you know, I saw this in a shop and I never bought it uh, because at that day I had no cash at all. Uh, and I was literally, you know, sometimes you're a bit fed up and you go to the shop, you've got no intention of buying anything because you can't really afford anything, but you go just have a look around anyway and cheer yourself up. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Look, Stone the Goes. Real Ale Craft Beer. This is their older logo on there. Um, yeah, I am actually looking forward to uh, trying that. That's pretty cool. 
I if I can, can I stack it without it falling off? Yes, winner. Chicken dinner. Then we've got um, rhubarb delicious rhubarb and custard, five percent ale. Wow. Uh, desserts have. I'm, I'm reading them again, aren't I? I'm doing it again. Uh, desserts have always been a great source of inspiration for us, and this one is no different. The soft banana ester profile with uh, from the wheat beer yeast plays perfectly with a classically sweet custard and tart candied rhubarb flavour. Ah, candied rhubarb. Ah, that's very cool, isn't it? I like the colour. I like the can art. It's very nice. What I like about Glen Africa as well, you can always, you can, you know a Glen Africa can when you see it. You know what I mean? It's all very uniform. So that's, it's pretty cool. Now, this is where my nuances go wrong because I can't even pronounce this. Uh, Igimund IPA, Quebec IPA. I'm hoping I didn't absolutely murder that, uh, but that's pretty, it's looking very Norse. Uh, it says on the back here, inspired by the Viking warlord who invaded the Wirral in uh, 902 AD. That's pretty cool. Uh, this IB, IPA is brewed with the Norwegian Voskjevk yeast and hopped with Simcoe, Amarillo, El Dorado, Summit and a pronounced hit of pithy orange, grapefruit and tropical punch. Ah, we, I think, doesn't that, our, uh, yeah, this has got El Dorado in it as well. There you go. You'd be interested to try that bad boy. Oh, don't knock him over. 6.5%. Craig, you really spoiled me. This is awesome. I'm going to have to send you some beers now. So this is another one. Loads of awards. Uh, I can't believe it's not Ella. <laughs> um, chocolate and hazelnut porter. Ooh, that sounds good. 5.2%. Yeah, that's that's pretty banging, isn't it? Can't believe it's not Ella. Um, uh, totally not inspired by a certain chocolate and hazelnut spread with not at all similar name. <laughs> this porter is richly de uh, decadent with mountains of cocoa powder added for a smooth chocolate hint hit alongside creamy vanilla and allergy safe hazelnut extra extract for a luxurious velvety finish. Ooh. Well there you go. Look at that. Ooh, don't drop it. Uh, it's a bit wobbly up there. Thank you so much, Craig, uh, at Glen Everett. That was very, very kind of you. Um, and I will I will hook you up, my friend, with some of ours. But I'm really looking for... I did not expect that. I really didn't expect that. That's made my day. I was feeling a bit jaded this morning. It's just like... <sighs> this week, for me, I don't know why. It just seems like it's gone on forever. But, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? There's some other stuff. I'm going to play a little video right now. So Coffee Walk is something that Dennis Collins does from uh, Black Mountain Jeep over in America. Uh, you can look up Dennis Collins, um, he's a Jeep guy. I'm a Jeep guy because he used to fix and work on Jeep. Uh, basically, he does this thing called Coffee Walk where he has a coffee and then he just walks through his business, talks about the cars, the vehicles, what they're doing, what their plans are. And I kind of thought that that would be a really good way for me to bring across what we do at the brewery so i'm going to be based up there and i will be able to uh, grab a coffee and we'll just go through what's going on and hopefully that will give you some insight into the brewery live feeds i think to be honest are not the future for the channel i don't completely want to stop doing them because i really really think it's important that we interact with you guys but i don't think i'm going to be doing a live every week at the moment, figures have dropped off, uh, viewing figures by uh, over a third. So I think really for us, um, the only reason really I've done so many lives of late is because I need to get my viewing, viewing hours up. You've got to have 4,000 viewing hours a year. 
and you need a thousand subscribers so I've been trying to get my uh, viewing hours up um, and we're, we're not so far off uh, but we are quite a way off on our subscribers so if you're watching this video please consider subscribing because it will really help us out and yeah there's lots of things we want to do I want to do some filming with cars from the um, I've managed to track down a Trans Am for this beer. Um, the new beer that's coming out, the Kolsch with the Porsche on it, I need to go and find a Porsche and do a, a, a video with that. And also there's stuff, I want to take you on our journeys and where we go, our deliveries, some of the cool pubs we see, and just make it really interesting and you know show you different aspects of what, what we do as a, a business. One of, one of the things I really want to do is pick up the podcast again. And also we need to get a, a mic on uh, to tell us about you know his his uh, stories and some of the stuff he's done uh, along the way work wise is just incredible so uh, yeah there's lots of cool stuff want to create proper content not just me doing live streams all the time so I wanted to get let you know what's happening on the channel it's going to take uh, a few weeks yet before you start seeing some of this stuff uh, but that's what's happening so. Um, Oh yeah, and then Brew London with uh, a real ale craft beer, Simon and Paul from Paul's Beer Reviews, that's happening. I want to catch up with some of the other YouTubers as well. And uh, just, yeah, like me and Paul were on about going on beery adventures and just do stuff, you know, go places, see things. So I think that's super important. I mean, the good thing is, generally, what I do is quite interesting and, you know, from, compared to what I used to do, where I worked in a workshop and been in four walls all the time for indefinitely is yeah not doing i don't do that anymore so it's uh, much more interesting so yeah uh, that's what's happening with the channel um once again craig thank you so much for the beer i didn't expect all this and uh, yeah we'll see you at our quick pilots friday tomorrow at half four um and uh, yeah that's it have a fantastic what's left of this week and hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll go a little faster. So, yeah. Right. See you later, alligators.